It also works really great on your sink, stainless steel. Just put the powder on, and again use the sponge. I got the green part on here going against the stainless steel. And you can see it starts to react. Actually, you could smell the reaction from the gas of this in the bark deeper friend. And once you've got it all covered with kind of like a paste, again, wait about five minutes time, then come back to finish it. Okay, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to go back over it. I'm not really pushing hard, I'm just moving the green part of the sponge over it. You can really smell that uh, acid reaction on the stainless. So I'm going to rinse it. And start the sponge. And I can see a huge difference already. It's just all shiny, looking like it's new. Okay, I'm going to try it on this Teflon pan. On the bottom, you can see it has a lot of oil and oxidation. I've cleaned this several times with other cleaners, and it just doesn't seem to help whatever I use. So I'm going to try the barkeeper's friend on here and I'm just gonna put a little right over the area and then I have a uh, wet sponge and I'm just gonna go in a circular motion and I think part of the way this works is the acid in here kind of want to let it sit a little bit so I've hydrated it I'm going to let it sit, come back to it in about five minutes. So it's been about five minutes, and I re-wet re the sponge here. So I'm just going in a circular motion. Now there's little V-grooves on here, so this is really set in. My guess is if I'd use Barkeeper's Friend and maintain this, this would never have gotten to this level. So I'm just going to do a little more, and then I'm going to rinse it off, and look at the before and after. So that's after I rinsed it off, and you can see that it did a removal of a lot of these stains that have been there for a couple of years. Now, I can't remove the really deep thin stuff, but it also did a great job reducing a lot of the carbon on the outside of the pan. So I think I did a good job. So I want to demonstrate another application for the Barkeeper's Friend, the cleanser and polish. I'm going to clean the glass on my shower area. Now I've already cleaned this and bleached this and that's as good as it got. And you can see the shower floor right here. This has already been cleaned and bleached with several different chemicals I used. And the shower door also has been cleaned. You can see it still has a lot of something on there. So we're gonna try the product on it now. So first I'm gonna just wet it down. And I'm gonna apply the our keeper's friend. And we're going to let it, we're going to wet it again. We're going to use a brush and then we're going to let it sit there for about 10 minutes. 
Now I'm using a brush just to work it in. with a little abrasive pad to go over the area. Now we're using the same process to clean the glass. So this is the improved glass and this is after just one application. So we can do it a second time, looks really, really nice. And the glass on the door came very, very clear. I'll do a second application later, but that's just after one application. And that's the floor. And you can see it got rid of all the rust and whatever is left there could be removed the second application. This is after one application, big difference. So what's my overall opinion about the Barkeeper's Friend, the cleanser and polish? I really like this product. I wish I would have discovered it years ago. And now it's gonna be in my cabinet to use all the time. As you saw, it worked really great on that pan. They had years of oxidation on there and carbon, and it did an amazing job on my shower glass and the fiberglass floor. I'm gonna use this every two weeks now on my shower and on my pans, and I'm sure it'll maintain it and it'll get even better over time. So I wanna give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.